To filter email temporarily within the inbox that meets certain conditions, well, just come up here on the Home tab, go to the Find group, and there you go, Filter Email. Click on it, and you can choose, like, just filter and show me those email messages that contain attachments. And you can see we've got a total of one, two, three paper clips, three attachments. Go ahead and click on it, and we should see one, two, oh, look at that. Well, what's going on? As you recall in an earlier training video, because these videos build upon each other for the most part, on the search tab in the scope group, it's based upon the current mailbox, and the current mailbox includes both items in the inbox and in the sent items folder. So if you just want to focus on the inbox that we had selected here, the current folder, doesn't matter if you have it selected up here or down below, it's the same folder, just that these are my favorites. Go ahead and select current folder, and there you go, one, two, three. Now again, it's temporary because, well, you can click close search, close out of it here, or just go to another folder. And then when you go back to the inbox, it refreshes. If you want to make it permanent, well, that is until you clear the filter. If you have a blank area down below in the main window, right-click on it, and you get the filter option. Click on it, opens up, filter, or let me close out. If you don't have a blank area, you can click on the View tab, go to the Current View group, and click on View Settings. Well, you know, it's just easier to go ahead and right-click on the headers here and go down to View Settings, and in any case, when you click View Settings here or View Settings there, when you right-click, you're looking for Filter, and you can see it's off. Click on it, opens up, and what do you want to search for? I want to search for Apple because I know that is in the subject field. I could say include Search for it also in the body of the message as well as the subject. And if you watch my previous training video on Advanced Find, it's basically the same. Instead of finding, you're filtering, which is a way to find things, except that you're hiding all those things that you don't want to see. I want to hide everything but those email messages that have Apple in the subject field only. And so go ahead and watch that training video on it because it's basically the same here. But as a very quick review, if you want to include in the filter that it has to have Apple in the subject, but also it's got to be sent from somebody, click on From, and go ahead and find somebody here, double-click to add them to say, okay, it's got to not only have Apple in the subject, but it's got to be from Carrie. And if you want to type in their email addresses, type in a semicolon as the delimiter to go ahead and separate additional email addresses. In any case, we covered that in an earlier training video. These training videos build upon each other, so you want to make sure you watch all of them. Otherwise, I'm repeating myself a lot. In any case, we have the sent to field. We have more choices, as we talked about in the advanced find, like the importance, if it's from Kerry where if it has Apple in subject, but also it's for the importance high, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. You can choose those additional options here. We have the advanced find tab that we talked about in the advanced training video, so you can watch that. We have the query builder that I haven't removed yet. And if you want to learn more about the query builder, again, I cover that in an earlier training video on query builder, which by default is not installed, as you recall in the training videos, so I show you how to install it. And then you have the SQL tab. In any case, let's go back to the messages, and we'll keep it simple. Apple, click OK, and then it says right here, Filter, Messages Containing Apple. And it doesn't say for the subject only. You'd have to click on the filter to see that. Click OK, and hey, there we go. Now if I go to another folder, like the sent items, and I come back to the inbox, it's still filtered. If I close out of Outlook and I open it back up, double-click, OK, it's still filtered. And if you're like, didn't I have a lot more email messages in my inbox here? And if you're panicking going, oh my gosh, they're permanently deleted. Well, the only other indicator, if you've forgotten that you filtered this view, is down below on the status bar where it says filter applied. So check below to make sure. And if you can't see it there, then you want to right-click on the status bar and make sure that you have filter checked to let you know. Because if it's unchecked, you're not going to see that a filter has been applied. And so what does it hurt to have it checked? Because if you don't have a filter applied, it's not going to show. So, well, make sure that your status bar has, for me, everything checked, except for the quota information. I'll leave that as is. And then with it displaying there, you can just go ahead and click on it, and it opens up the window, so you don't have to right-click to be able to get the filter. And then just say Clear All, click OK. The filter applied disappears, and we get our nine email messages back. Oh, and as a disclaimer, if you apply the filter, like I did here, Apple, and I got additional email messages that came in, they'd all be hidden. Because if they don't have Apple in the subject, they're going to be filtered as well. So, oopsie doodle, make sure that you know what you're doing. And it's very temporary, unless you're not going to be getting any email messages that you care about, as long as you have the filter being applied for, as in this case, Apple. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.